Hello everyone and thank you for registering in the Anyone Can Draw a Portrait workshop. My name is Bogdan Koral Konikowski and I'm artist painter and president of Artisa Society of the Arts in Edmonton. I have the privilege to teach you how to draw realistic portraits using various drawing mediums of your choice. It is true that creating a successful portrait is most challenging, but don't despair. I develop a method that will turn you into the portrait master while having lots of fun. You can adjust the level of difficulty according to the level you teach by choosing one or two drawing mediums or simpler reference images. For your convenience, in addition to this instructional step-by-step -step video, I have provided you with a complimentary PowerPoint presentation and a handout. And thank you to my wife, Isabella Orelski, artist fellow, for assisting me in production of this video. Now, let's start our creative adventures. Hello guys. Today we will create a portrait of this lovely lady various art mediums such as pencil, crayons, markers. Now you can use regular markers or sharpies if you want. You can also use pastels, you can use pencils. So it's up to you, even the chalk and oil pastels. I will show you very briefly how to do it and then you will continue on your own. You will need a white drawing paper, you need an image and you need masking tape plus a pair of scissors. I would suggest ruler. You don't need to but it will be of help and those various art mediums. As you can see here, I have an image and this image is attached to the paper using the masking tape. We have our white masking tape and um, notice that the image is cut into the pieces and those pieces are going through the important features of the face so that it's easier to recreate it. So see what will happen now. I will attach our image to the paper and I use a larger piece of masking tape of course actually I will attach it to the table I will use scissors and right away cut through the features now if you want to you can use the ruler and draw first the lines and then cut through following the lines I will without it so I want to go through the eye because eye is very important for me when I will go with the cuts around the eye, it will be very hard for me to recreate it. Here, I have the lines to follow and you will see very soon what I mean. So I have a one cut. If I want to, I can have another one. Let's see, maybe here. Right, so one, two, three. I want to cut through her nose and I will use the nostril. So voila. Then I want to cut through her eye. And I want to go very close, or at least very close to the iris. Then I want to see her face. Let's see, definitely her. And then the rest, it doesn't matter because they are the hair. Maybe you can cut one more time, but I don't know if I want to even. I'll just leave it the way it is. So scissors are going on the side, and now I'm taking the first piece. And I'm placing it for myself on the side. So I will actually tear it even like this and place it for myself here that I can see it better. Maybe even there, oh no, I will be okay here. Now I will use for the first one pencils. So I can continue here half and half, I would say not even one, two, almost slightly on the line. So that will help to guide me. Then we can move to the other part. So one is done with the pencil. Now let's get this part. If we want, we can also place this part here, just that you can continue. 
colors. Or we can go with eye. And I want to this time use pencil quails. And I have to now continue. And what I need, I need to have this part here. What's what I need to do? Well, I need to continue with my eye. So my eye has to come not very far, approximately here. It's slightly under the angle. Is it under the angle? Yes, it is. So her eyebrow is going down almost. sections done so now it's time for us to move to the other sections which will be this one so I place this one here I have this one there so we have her face we have already two parts Wow and now it's time for us to work well, you know what I want to use a marker so you can use marker you can use pencil whatever you prefer for this part Let's see. I have my eye here. I want to use a stippling technique. But I want to make sure that I'm getting it right. So with stippling, you have to be a little bit careful. Because you can't repeat. Well, you make bubble, you make bubble. You have to incorporate the bubble then into your drawing. This will be this one. We just want to mark where's the end of the image. I'll emphasize it here. And then what you want to do, we have already well, three parts, just the hair. And I will use pencil for it. Just do it very fast. And now we are moving to this one. So where is the part that you already done? This is this part here. Okay. So we place it here and then we will continue with the, this one. Okay. We will use pencil, crayon, and then just a little bit of the eye halfway through. We can't forget. That's right. So her face is coming in. in. Her eyebrow. Her eyebrow also has to follow the position. In. Going on almost halfway.
and then what we want to have let's see this is just the last pot here that is waiting for us but as you can see this is our just don't make dark at this section this is our drawing and you have the sections one two three four five and just the last one so when you want we can take it like this and you can bring some of those hair and extend them and have them in the portrait you can have the whole portrait done by using different drawing techniques and having lots of lots of lots of fun so i hope that you enjoyed working with me and now you are ready that you are ready to work on your own you can emphasize certain parts you can always come back and just put those last touches here and there whatever you want to do to it but the most important is that the portrait done this way will always work for you always so have a good day and work on it and have lots of lots of fun bye